you are very welcome to this video. Well, today I start working with leather, or sort of. I thought I would start very simply, and as you can see, there are two belts on the work table. This belt, the edges have been slicked and possibly dyed. I bought this belt about 20, 20 years ago, and unfortunately the buckle has broken, so I need to, to buy another buckle and find out how to sew that on. This belt is a newer belt, and if you look, the edges are rough. They don't seem to have been slicked. So what I thought I would do was I would try to slick them. Now, you might actually see just there, it sort of slicked itself from its position in the belt loops. But most of it is just rough. It's, it's, not, it's not being slicked. So I thought I would slick them. Now, I don't have any gum tragacanth. Uh, I don't have any Takano. Um, but I'm told that you can slick with water. And the idea between uh, be, with slicking is that you're trying to bring the oils from within the leather to the outside of the leather so it becomes like this which has managed to, to slick itself and I'm told you can do this with water so for my first work with leather is I thought I would try it so I have my slicker and I think it needs to be <coughs> excuse me uh, using this one looking at the the thicknesses and the idea is you don't press very hard I don't want to actually miss uh, reshape the leather I just want to bring the oils to the surface so I have a, a wet sponge and I shall just put some water on a small part of the leather and then I'm told you just run the slicker backwards and forwards now how long you do this for I have no idea maybe until it's dry I don't know um, I don't know how long you do this for I really don't and I'm told you don't put a lot of pressure on you just rub backwards and forwards Actually, that does seem to be making a difference, even with that short length of time. So what we'll do is we'll move on a little bit, and then we'll come back a bit later and have a look. So we'll do sort of two or three inches at a time, and then we'll come back. So I shall just do this. I'm not putting any pressure, I'm not really putting very much pressure on, I'm told you, oops that looks a bit dry, just there. you just do it sufficiently to create a bit of heat in the leather, so I shall try that and see if it works. Um, I don't know if you can see it but it seems to have actually worked here. It's 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 actually quite smooth to the touch. Um, it is, whereas that's rougher. This is smoother to the touch. So let's just try the whole thing. I've done. So that does seem to be working. Let me just put a bit of moisture on the edge. Surprised actually. Just with this is just ordinary water out of the tap, 
on the sponge. I haven't put any into the into the plate, and it seems it's working. I'm I'm really quite impressed. So what I will do is I shall continue doing this, um, and we'll come back when I've got to the end of the belt and we'll have a look at the results well ladies and gentlemen I've done one side of the belt I did about three inches seven to eight centimeters at a time and I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, the, the, okay, I'm not brilliant at this, but I can actually see the differences. I can I can see it as I'm rubbing. I can I can actually see it happening. This is now dry. I mean, this is totally dry. Um, and I don't know if you can see. There's a, a bit of a shine developing on the belt so slicking the idea is not to use a lot of pressure and using just water is sufficient to bring the oils to the surface although you can use as I say um, gum trag I believe they call it gum tragacanth or I think it's Tokano, Tokano, I think is the, the, the Japanese version. And that really does work. Right, well, thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, uh, share and subscribe. And I shall finish off by doing the other side. And we'll see you next time.